So there are a few things that I want to talk about right before the special program begins. Number one, I really hope that they improve the the resin system just like how Honkai Star Rail did. Because what Honkai Star Rail did was they expand the the maximum resin from 180 to 240. Yes, I know um, last time that um, Genshin used to increase the cap from 120 to 160. But I feel like having the cap at 160 is not good enough. So to me, right, it would be way much better if um, Genshin increases the cap of the, the resin where it reaches the 24 hour time or some sort. It could be maybe 210 or 240, I'm not so sure. But at least at the at the very least, right, I hope they increase the cap of the original res resin. If not, increase the maximum amount of condensed resin to maybe like what, 10 or 20. Because I feel like having the maximum um, condensed resin at 5 is um, it's not enough. I feel like it's not enough because not all the time I'll be doing the artifact farming and I want to like reserve my resins as much as possible. So it will be a very good idea if the maximum amount of condensed resin increases to 10 or 20. If it's infinite, it will be much more better but I, I doubt um, Hoyovers will do that, I really doubt that. I doubt that Hoyovers will do this, but this is just my personal thoughts. I really hope that the domain farming in general is skippable. Here's how it works. You clear a domain at a certain amount of time, right? right? Maybe um, maybe you try to, you clear the domain within a certain time frame. It could be 1 minute or 2 minute or maybe within 3 minutes. The game gives you the option to skip the farming where with a press of one the skip button and then how many times you want to use the how many resins you want to use the domain gives you the rewards because to me right people are sick and tired including myself of doing the um, the domain farming so it'll be it'll be a bonus if Genshin the, the, the Genshin developers provide this kind of feature where we we have the option to whether we want to farm manually or we skip the farming. Speak, since I mentioned the um, domain where part of the domain is um, artifact farming right what I really hope is that because Honkai this is what Storm, Honkai Star Wars has and what Genshin should have which is the self uh, modeling resin where here is how it works the self the self modeling resin is basically you select one part of that artifact and then you select a main stat for that one particular artifact then you are guaranteed to get the the main stat of the artifact sub stat random is completely fine because i have been farming for the element for the electro damage bonus goblet at the emblem of Soviet fate domain for weeks, maybe months, but to this day I still didn't get a single freaking um, electro damage bonus combat. Like what the? Heck? So I really hope that Genshin puts um, add on this um, the, this the self modeling feature in this game, and I'll be very frank. Once this um, special program is over, if neither any of these um, features that I mentioned is not is not in this special program, I'll be very disappointed. I'll be very, very disappointed. And that reminds me, right? Um, Genshin's anniversary is around the corner. I'm not sure whether they will announce what they will, what are the freebies that will be handed over during the anniversary I'm not sure they will do it over here or they will do it at the Tokyo Game, Tokyo Game Show which will be on next 
we can. But if they do it over here, right? Here's what I hope they do. What I hope they do is that they do about the same stuff as how Freak Grand Order did, where you do a quest, you you complete the quest, and then the the vote is basically you get to select a five star character of your choosing. Because that's how that's how um, Fake Grant on a date during one of their anniversaries, which is like what uh, a year or two. I, I forgot which anniversary was it, but yeah. What Fake Grant on a date is basically you you select the servant that you want. You do the minimum requirement that you you have to do in order to make sure that your servant stays permanent. Then once you do that, that. That servant, that five star servant is completely yours. So I hope Genshin does something similar for their anniversary. If what they do in their entry is just basically here, have three ten um, intertwined fates of uh, three female gems, I'll be frank, I'll be very very disappointed because they're practically doing the same stuff as what they did last year and the year before where here a free 10 rows and then that's it and that's it that's kind of underwhelming to be very honest and oh the the stream has already begun sorry本次前瞻特别节目依旧是由我来担任节目的主持人不知不觉间啊原神也陪着大家走过了一段漫长的时光从蒙德到枫丹这一路以来啊我们不仅经历了许多精彩的冒险故事也邂逅了形形色色的角
I find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. Rumors saying that you were born from calamity. You inherently bring danger to those around you. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalet too! There's only one thought on my mind. Only through bloodshed can the debt be repaid. Risley, where did you take my siblings? Even if the truth may not be pleasant, New since they have no way fight, I guess? the leftover No, 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 this, um, that's actually with you, boss. form them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. It beggars believe just how carefree you have yeah, been. New From the very bosses. beginning, you, the god Fosalor, have failed to one take action. One for one for the other guy. What are you trying to do? Please, don't kill me! Oh. I'm begging you! Is this what justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet! You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. I feel like the next um, story quest will be very high. Heavily focus on Novilet. That's how I see it. Oh. 旅行者们，欢迎回来。不知道有没有和我一样的旅行者，每次看完新版本的PV啊，都会对其中出现的角色和故事非常的好奇。所以今天啊，我也依旧是邀请了项目组的小伙伴，我们的战斗设计师叶
Why was he? Oh gosh, his name was so freaking hard to pronounce. I'm so uh, really sorry. Melobidabao 就只能通过其他方法以理服人了而莱欧斯利自然也不缺乏这方面的实力由于莱欧斯利之前当过地下拳手因此拥有高超的战斗技巧这种战斗方式导演确实符合我对他的想象在这种情势复杂的地方拳
Well, that's a big That's interesting. Lawelite 能够看到人类难以观察到的东西，能帮助纳维莱特收集各种证据进行审判。但这个特点让在卢印廷里工作的美卢星们很容易受到犯罪分子的威胁。纳维莱特自然也不会对这种情况坐视不管。在四点一百
。欢迎回来，在四点一版本啊，除了丰富的剧情和角色，还有许多全新的场景区域，等待着我们的探索。那么今天啊，我也有幸再次邀请到了我们的场景美术同学阿汤哥来为我们介绍相应的内容。旅行者们好，很高兴能够再次来到今天的节目现场。我是原神场景美术阿汤哥，今天也会为大家着重介绍一下四点一地区的新场景。欢迎阿汤哥。上个版本啊，我们已经来到了枫丹，见识到了不同的风土人情，尤其是水下世界的风景啊，给我们带来全新的体验。对于新版本的场景啊，我可是十分期待。那么，不妨就从我们身后的这片区域开始吧。呃，从刚才开始啊，背景中这个漂浮在空中的水体啊，呀，的安德沃特，阿汤哥，给我们介绍一下。呃，没问题。我们身后的这片区域就是旧风格科学院的中央实验室遗址，在自然地形风貌上依旧延续了枫丹的清新优雅。但因为枫丹科学院的某些科技与狠活，使得整个区域发生了巨大的爆炸事故，所以上空有着让人惊奇的异重力银水体，因失重漂浮在海岸上空几百米，十分壮观。也因为这里曾发生的爆炸事故，场景设计上也是会更加的残破凄凉。对比枫丹城的优雅精致，这里更带着一丝淡淡的忧伤。哎，确实啊，一眼望去啊，都是残破的这个遗迹啊，可以想象啊，当初的这个爆炸事故啊，是有多么惨烈。是的，相当的惨烈啊。这个场景展现爆炸后的不稳定性是一大难题。我们利用了水道这个不稳定要素去呼应水体，既满足了概念设定，也为玩家创造了进入异重力凝水体的路线。这个异重力凝水体啊，我有印象，在四点零版本的前瞻节目中有提到，好像是可以进去的，对吧？没错，旅行者们是可以设法进入其中的，而在这些异重力凝水体中，隐藏的秘密就等待大家前去探索。话说啊，前面你提到这个叫枫丹科学院的机构啊，听上去太疯狂了吧？居然把这么大片区域都给炸掉了。是的，这些其实都源自于枫丹科学院某一次失控的实验，在长久的历史中。枫丹动能工程科学研究院一直在以曾经洗去无数生命，又总有一天会再度遮天蔽日的洪水为敌，寻找着生存的途径。而蕴含着庞大能量、能够粉碎大地桎梏的史基矿，则一度被认为是开启救赎大门的钥匙。据此，爱德温·伊斯丁豪斯，这是 definitely new um essential material boss 场地发生装置。但最终发生了事故，并未能取得应有的成效。这台实验性场地发生爆炸，因此失控。It's for which character? It is either for Nobile or the other guy. 记得利用他提供的失重效果进行跳跃，从而规避他的招式。哎，他的攻击方式啊，确实和之前遇到的敌人不太一样，感觉很有意思。看来我们的战斗中啊，要多利用他的机制了。没错，这部为了搜索关于枫丹科学院爆炸的各种情报，女人众也来到了这一带。旅行者在这里将会遇到新的敌人，女人众双翼人和女人众风翼人。他们来自隶属于仆人的精锐特务组织，拥有不俗的实力，可能会给旅行者们带来不小的麻烦。Definitely elite, elite level enemies. 危险与机遇并存。Definitely elite level enemies. 那么介绍完地上的区域，这次阿汤哥又给我们带来哪些 ？Just about the same level as the. 自然是有的。接下来。The electro mages and the. The hydro mages. 四点一的主线剧情十分密切。在枫丹惩治犯人的方法，就是将其流放。Criminals are being punished by ex in in the fortress. 本质上却被认定为流放者的聚集地。在这可以参加劳作，得到生活的物资。哈、啊，梅洛比德堡建设在水下。The whole fortress is built under water. 的结构多以蒸汽管道和齿轮为主，本身略带精致的工业风也衬托着这里是个威严的地方。我们利用多种竖管道结构，并且尝试了多种排列组合，参考了一些常见的蒸汽朋克元素，提炼出属于枫丹水下监狱的艺术特性。It feels more like an underground city. 嗯，的确如你所说，给我留下了深刻的印象。不过，作为全枫丹罪人的流放场所
It looks more like a, an underground city rather than a prison. Interesting. 如何让这些精密的齿轮反而不乱这非常符合我对水下世界的幻想各种神秘的区域和奇异的植被总能激发我的探索欲望不过在这片新的探索区域想必我们也会遇到一些新的敌人吧大伟哥猜的没错矗立在远海一种顶端的另一个地方 Underwater, right? Uh, I won't Electro. Okay, new Definitely event related. 欢迎大家回到原神四人一百万的前瞻特别节目，在原神公测三周年之际，迎来一场盛大的活动。哎，我们研发团队中的系统设计师也应邀来到了节目现场。since Huda and Fenty is in the um, uh, in the in the banner, right? So it's definitely the new event is definitely something is definitely uh, where something related to either uh, Huda and or Fenty. 确实有些与众不同，不知道大卫哥还记不记得。Ah yes, I remember. That was during the. It was during early of the year. So we have a follow-up story of of that quest story. Hu Yoshi 还有来自黎月和蒙德的其他伙伴也一起参加了大会十分热闹不过在活动期间发生了一件奇异的事身为参赛者的重云提出自己之前见到了一个类似要挟的东西于是众人在参加大会的同时也开始探寻起了事件的
如果投掷的支箭穿过李环，击中荣壶，即可获得双倍积分。妙壶则可以改变掷箭的投掷频率，帮助旅行者更高效地完成挑战。They're doing something new this time for once. 第二个活动是挑战玩法——灵感喷击。在挑战开始后。Inspiring yourselves by defeating opponents. From time to time, an enemy carrying a mythic nexus will appear. Such fools will be very tough and hard to defeat. After a certain period of time, inspiring crystals will rupture and release an AOE shock wave around your character, inflicting immense damage. Skill use of inspiring crystals shock waves may aid you in defeating these opponents with ease. Mending painting prospects requires you to take pictures and search for missing objects. Follow the instructions to help an art conservator. Take pictures and restore artworks. As you take pictures, match the pictures with the current scenery, and look for any objects that are missing from the picture. Once you have found said objects, you can record them and obtain rewards. In this waterborne poetry event, travelers can take part in three event challenges to accumulate poetry gala favor and obtain the exclusive four-star catalyst, Ballad of the Boundless um, Blue, along with exclusive refinement materials and other rewards. Oh, that was Okay. Decent. Decent. Oh no! What does that little kid want? 偶然发现国舅湖里突然出现了从须弥来的入侵鱼类。Invasive fish from Sumeru has invaded to what's that? 在此期间，可丽为了不添乱，只能待在蒙德城里。为了不让可丽无聊，丽莎发明了一个有趣的小游戏。在活动《嘟嘟可轰轰奇遇记》中，旅行者们可以陪同可丽一起玩蹦蹦炸弹。通过操作嘟嘟可投出不同类型的蹦蹦炸弹，击败角角鱼大军，书写嘟嘟可打败鱼鱼入侵者的大冒险。火花骑士就像火热的小太阳一样， okay. 每次都能给我们带来惊喜呀、啊！这次竟然还发现了入侵物种。Okay. 其实有类似困扰的不只是蒙德，在枫丹也有一些本应只存在于实验室内的奇妙生物，突然出现在枫丹的各个水域中。In the Radiant Harvest event, travelers can help the merchant Kason, who was up to his neck in work, to collect violet glow jellyfish from the waters of Fontaine, and by doing so, limit the danger to the ecosystem and obtain rewards. Uh, yeah, 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 The Peace and Fool of Life event. In this challenge event, travelers can help obtain research tests, pressurized impactors, stop the pressure increase at the right moment, to increase damage dealt by high pressure shock wave released by the pressurized impactor and defeat your enemies. Meanwhile, travelers can also gain load according to the number of deployed characters and their level to equip higher level buff modules. And challenge more formidable opponents. In version 4.1, aside from regular update to the heated battle mode, Genius Invocation 3 GG. Okay. At least they're trying their best to overflowing mastery. Okay. 需要培养角色的旅行者们不要错过哦。Please tell me their system updates. 辛苦研发组的同学给我们准备了这么多有趣的活动，看得我都眼花缭乱了，已经迫不及待想去试玩一番了。另一方面，我们也一直在关注旅行者们的日常游玩状况。哦 ，system update。随着游戏运营年份增长，一些原本看起来合理的前期和常规设计，如今却成为了旅行者们体验中的痛点。Good。此，我们在四点一版本。对前期的内容设计做了不同的调整。首先，我们加强了冒险等阶突破任务的提示，在旅行者们的派蒙界面和冒险手册向导页
都增加了相应的引导。在突破任务中，我们缩短了地图的通关耗时，移除了部分高难度敌人，来帮助新手旅行者更好的完成突破任务。这个好。其实啊，当初我第一次做突破任务时啊，确实用了挺长的时间啊。这次的调整啊，应该能帮助到不少的新手。不仅如此，我们还对每日委托做了一次重大调整。每日委托内容逐渐丰富，在每日委托之外，游戏内还有大量玩法等着旅行者体验。因此，我们在四点一版本推出了冒险历练系统。Adventure Encounter System。在这个系统中，旅行者可以通过完成任务、开启宝箱、获取收集物、参与活动的方式来获取历练点。除了原本的，通过完成每日委托获得奖励，旅行者也可以通过累积历练点来换取委托奖励。每天通过两种方式累计最多领取四次委托奖励。每日委托奖励被领取后，仍可进行任务。想要体验任务或者完成成就的旅行者，可以继续去完成这些委托。历练点将在服务器时间每天的凌晨四点清零。太棒了！我很早就喜欢有类似的系统了。当开启新区域或者活动时啊，总感觉要做的事情太多啊，自己时间不够用。那现在有了这个功能啊，我在体验其他内容的同时啊，还能够获得委托奖励，真可谓是一举两得啊！没错，我们也希望旅行者们可以更多的享受游戏中的其他内容，得到多元化的体验。除了版本活动与系统优化，在公测三周年之际啊，我们依旧为旅行者们准备了一些神秘的奖励。来庆祝这个特殊的日子 ，Helen 也来为大家分享一下情报吧。为了感谢旅行者们一直以来的支持与热爱，在四点一版本期间，签到活动、观赏游滑将会开始。旅行者们可以通过每日签到，获得最多十枚纠缠之源以及其他道具的不容错过。同时。我们还会通过邮件的形式为旅行者们额外奉上总共一千六百元石和四个脆弱树枝，以及两个特殊纪念小道具：便携式空气动力胶质炮升发器和柔柔小张。此外，在四点一版本更新后，游戏内商城的首充双倍状态也将会重置。具体信息，旅行者们可以留意官方后续的相关公告。好耶！<笑>相信大家已经和我一样十分期待四点一版本的到来了。那介绍完了那么多的活动啊，屏幕前的大家不妨稍作休息。接下来啊，还有更多有趣的内容，后面的节目更加精彩。Now what? This August in Latin America, we join forces with Mexico City's non-profit organization. <laughs> Let's watch this first. Okay. Oh, it's an event. In an event to help stray dogs. Time yet. 欢迎回来，在今天这个特殊的日子， okay, 能够和屏幕前的旅行者们共同庆祝此刻，实在是一件值得高兴的事。从二零二零年公测至今啊，相信大家在提瓦特大陆上也留下了属于自己的独特回忆啊。这三年以来啊，不只是各位旅行者，我们研发团队的同学也同样经历了一段宝贵的时光，想要和大家分享。坐在我身边的呢，是大家老朋友 Michael。Michael, I am. Now, this is the opportunity. Please, 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 please,
with the system optimization and the rewards that will be, that will be given out during the <coughs> during the third anniversary. It's practically free twenty draws and that's it. Oh, and the system optimization is basically something regarding the daily commission and the speed machine. Kinda confused with the daily commission thing. Be very honest. Ten thousand eight hundred and thirty-eight million. One thousand two hundred. This is a big number. Michael, this number means what? This number actually is the commission of the daily commission and the speed machine. 我们的 IP 团队在游戏内外创作的叙事文本总字数。我们游戏中的提瓦特大陆是一个架空世界，这里汇聚了各种文化、创意、艺术。从零开始构建它的世界观并不容易。原神 IP 创作团队的同学以自身热情与才华，铸就了一个个鲜活生动的角色，编织了一个个扣人心弦的故事，构建了一个宏大精美的世界。细心的旅行者可能会发现，在游戏中处处充满着细节。随意拾取的一本书籍，不经意间获取的武器，副本中掉落的剩遗物，他们的背后甚至也有属于自己的精彩故事。其实，为了把一个架空世界填满的足够有真实感，光靠游戏内的文本是不够的。在许多内容呈现给旅行者之前 ，IP 团队就要先行构思几个版本。甚至几年后的概念设定，对于一些要向美术策划、海外本地化团队表达的设定，也需要撰写足够细腻、详尽的文档，以供参考。因此，在游戏内所呈现的内容，大概也只是浮在创作海洋的一角冰山。确实啊，这个数字不仅是代表一场游戏的这个制作啊，更是一次文化的积淀，一次创意的盛宴。当然，海量的文本创作。也只是《原神》内容的其中一个侧写。下面这个数字看起来可小多了，但它也是我们和旅行者一路走来的证明之一呢。Seventy four， 七十四，比起第一个数字啊，这个数字是 seventy four months。哎，不对不对 ，Michael， 你说这是我们跟旅行者一路走来的见证，那它一定是一个随着版本累积下来的数字，对不对？大伟哥已经快要猜到了。其实啊，这是直到四点一版本为止，包括刚才我的同事介绍的纳维莱特、莱斯的《原神》已经向旅行者推出的角色数量。没想到、啊， okay. 在不知不觉间啊，我们已经进入了那么多的角色部分。不过啊，谈起《原神》啊，游戏中性格迥异的角色确实被大家津津乐道。没错，一个引人入胜的开放世界，角色是必不可少的。I didn't realize that there are so many four characters that have already been released throughout the entire uh ever since the 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 inception of um Genshin Impact. 这种情感共鸣不仅让旅行者与角色建立起情感联系，也为游戏增添了更多层次的情感体验，使整个游戏世界更加丰满和有趣。此外，角色也是构成游戏中战斗体验的重要一环。每个角色都拥有独特的战斗技能和神之眼元素，这不仅丰富了游戏的战斗策略，也为旅行者们提供了更多的选择和挑战。呃，正因为这些角色伙伴啊，才让提瓦特大陆的世界增色不少，使得游戏啊不仅仅是简单的战斗游戏，更像是一场情感丰富的冒险之旅。那么，让我们看看下一个数据吧。Two hundred and fifteen. What is the number? 之前的两个数字啊。我觉得自己是肯定猜不出来的 ，Michael， 快为我们公布答案吧。其实这个数字还有一个单位，二百一十五 G， 它指的是截止四点一版本游戏内所有最高精度美术的资源总量。二百一十五 G 啊，这个大小是有点吓人呐、啊。Michael， 你给我们讲一讲背后的故事吧。可能大多数旅行者不太能判断这个数字所代表的工作量。原神是一个依赖卡通渲染营造幻想氛围的游戏，这就意味着几乎所有的写实类素，包括照片、修改的贴图、真人动物的动画，都是没有办法直接应用到游戏中的。这二百一十五 G 的美术资源是原神的原画师、动画师、动画师
and um, was Final Fantasy 7 reached 200 gigs? I'm talking about the remake though, I'm talking about the remake. The rebirth is without a shadow of a doubt, um, definitely um, above 200 GB, even though it's not released yet. Causing the fact that the, the PlayStation that is in two disc, I won't be surprised if the um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will be available. Uh, it, the, the space for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will be above 200 GB. I will not be surprised. Then again, ever since Modern Warfare, right? Games have they are games have reached they have space above like what 100 GB. Optimize the resins, the art, the the domain farming, and the uh. 99.53 million? What number is this? Hey, this is the number I think. Michael, if you talk about it, it's related to the whole of the game. Players? I think, is this the number of the game of the game? Yes. Currently, the number of the game of the game of the game is over 9.53 million players, followers. But this number is still very surprising. That's a big number. Thirty-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two-two
I was really hoping they they do something about the 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 domain farming, the re- the resin system, and what was that one other item again? Ah, the the artifacts. I wish they done something about it, but nope, no news about that shit. So yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. 欢迎大家回到四点一版本的前瞻特别节目。在新版本啊，除了游戏内丰富多彩的内容啊，我们也准备了一些游戏外的内容给大家带来分享。没错，今天我还给大家带来了《原神》的最新情报。二零二三年九月到二零二四年一月期间，我们将在亚洲、美洲、欧洲的十一座城市举办。As much as I would love to attend this Genshin concert, unfortunately, I won't be. I won't be able to attend it because I'm. As of this moment, I'm broke AF. 同时，音乐会主题的系列周边已经在《原神》旗舰店等官方店铺开售。I'm broke AF at the moment. 有兴趣的旅行者不妨看看哦。Animanga Key last month. Wow, 这些周边看上去好精致啊！我这就回去加入。Maybe next year. 其实还有很多音乐会的周边单品，我已经替大家看过实物了，可以说是非常让人期待。不过在不同地区，因为生产和运力的关系，周边类型的活动方式会略有差异。And I never attended an orchestra concert before, and I would like to attend one. But unfortunately, not this year. Not this year. Because I'm broke. 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 后续游戏内也会上架音乐会礼包、侠音异奏，礼包内含有原石、名片、风之翼以及家具摆设。上架时间等具体信息，大家也可以关注官方消息。没、yeah, 错、yeah, ，自从四点零前瞻节目啊，我们发布了枫丹交响音乐的现场，就收获了不少好评，许多旅行者都等着枫丹专辑上架呢。不瞒大伟哥，其实我已经循环了好多遍了。而今天带来的下一则情报，正是关于枫丹音乐专辑的。随着旅行者们不断探索枫丹的步伐，我们的枫丹音乐也一直陪伴在大家冒险的旅途之中。四点一版本期间，我们将发布枫丹第一张 OST 专辑《白鹿彻鸣之泉》。专辑共有四张分碟，收录了 Hoyo m a x 音乐团队为《原神》的枫丹地区创作的原声音乐。手中的红酒杯已经开始摇起来了。大伟哥，你印象中最深的枫丹音乐是哪一首呢？我最喜欢啊一首枫丹的战斗音乐啊，每次听的时候都舍不得结束战斗。我也很喜欢呢、啊。枫丹的战斗音乐展示了枫丹华丽的城邦特色。我们为枫丹音乐专辑也准备了一支华丽的宣传 MV， 一起来看看吧。Fontaine, right? It's kind of like what the hell. 
I will say this. That's a, they put in a lot of effort. And some people may enjoy that song, that music, but it's just not for me. It's just not for me. Because I've listened to, I've already listened to, um, bet, I've listened to better ones. It was decent, but it's just, it's just not for me. Because I've, I, I've listened to uh, better, better OSTs. Probably because of the fact that I've been influenced by Final Fantasy. Um, Final Fantasy music. Yeah. So, gotta give credit to um, where credit is due. And what the hell is this? Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact! Oh. This is Maya Aoki Tuttle reporting. Of course, you might know me as Charlotte, Ace Reporter. And with the upcoming anniversary, I've decided to put my journalistic skills to the test. And what better way than to get the scoop on the voice artist for some of our favorite characters? Therefore, Ace Reporter Maya is on the case. With me are my co-hosts, Damon Mills and Anaris Kinones. Greetings. Hey, everybody. The world of Tavat sports a diverse cast, so let's hear about what all the talent has to say. long special program. For those that live too oh, long, the friends of days gone by and scenes from their adventures live on in their memories. As such, I have no regrets in meeting you, friend. Should the day ever come that we are not together, still the best. You um, will continue to shine like gold voice, in my uh, memories. Actor to date. Hello, everyone. My name is Keith Silverstein. I voice the Geo Archon Zhang Li. Happy anniversary, Genshin Impact. I want to take a second to. Thank everyone who had a part in bringing Genshin Impact to life. And I mean everyone. Uh, no matter how large or small your role in bringing this game to life has been. And that includes the entire Genshin Impact community, which is amazing that I could even just say that. It's a very special thing when a game comes out and is so popular that an entire community is born alongside it. And so long as it's bringing this much joy to the world, long may it rain. I wonder if Yen Hi, and Yakuza. I'm Alejandro Saab, and I am the voice of Sino in Genshin Impact. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> no, I'm all serious. No, seriousness. Um, I'm grateful to be a part of this game, and uh, Genshin going on for three years, I've been a fan, and this last year, getting to be a part of it was super, like, just... Super humbling, super... Uh, I, I'm at a loss for words. Alejandro it, also has Sino a, was the character when I first saw him in the Tibet trailer. I was like, in a form dang, of I'd a really like to play that guy. That'd be so cool. And it, it, it we'll happened. Out and we wish to be, it, wish to be here. It was so cool. And I will not mention I, it. You it just makes me yourself. really happy again to the opportunity to be this guy. Uh, everybody thinks I've been saying terrible jokes now because of Sino, but that's not true. I started right. saying terrible jokes because of my partner. And uh, my friends around me, I could say one right now. Don't. Uh, hello, I'm Sean Dury, and I play oh. Baiju. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? Well, happy anniversary to Genshin Impact, and I just want to cool thank everyone who has been playing the game and well, enjoying um, the game. That's really why we make it. For those who doesn't so know, Ed Yatko is the English so thank you voice so much actress for, for the Raiden Shogun. My favorite Genshin memory of the past year was we'll Baiju see. becoming a playable character. That was so exciting to go from someone you kind of stopped in and chatted with for a second I mean, to quite someone who was going on a quest and saving the day. <laughs> so that's absolutely my She's favorite memory busy of the past year. Book and whatnot. Hey there, my name is Nazi Tarsha, and I play All Hate Them in Genshin Impact. What is your favorite story from the past year? The infamous traitor, traitor, azar, anger scene that All Hate Them has, uh, just because it was really fun seeing the reception to that. And it was very fun recording, you know? It's All Hate Them is very reserved, very kind of to himself. So yep. having this one moment where he breaks character putting on an act of course but still like showing more emotion than anyone has ever seen him do was very fun to kind of go into in terms of the game the thing that i want to say is congratulations for going you know three plus years strong the the world that they've managed to build is nothing short of impressive and also seeing the sort of fans admiration toward the game is you know, nothing short of delightful, really, because there is just such an enthusiasm and such a passion with the fan base. So seeing this sort of 
relationship between the two is endearing and the fact that I get to, you know, kind of share in both of these experiences is awesome. Hey, what's up? I'm Zach Gordon. I am the voice of Tainari. If I have one anniversary message, it's I can't wait till the next year and the year after that. And I hope to be around for uh, as long as we all enjoy the game. So thank you. What is something you like or admire about your character? One thing that, if I may say so myself, I, I feel like we worked really hard to do well, was his ability to care about Kale. And, and I think that a lot of people that really know what they believe in and, and feel that they're very intelligent, quote unquote, I think sometimes the ego can get in the way of that. And one thing that I really admire about Tainari is that he's able to put that aside and, and really focus on what matters, which is being able to articulate and, and translate what he knows and pass it on to uh, a student or an apprentice, somebody like Kale. And so I think to sum it all up, compassion. I think Tainari is a very compassionate individual. We certainly tried our best to infuse that into the role. My name is Ben Balmaceda. I voice Kave. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? Where are the After female the voice actors? I had no doubt that it was going to be something special and it was going to stand Where the test of the time. Where are the female so much voice actors? Potential to be had in Tavak. Bro, and like so many new people dude. to meet and, and places to explore and travel is it to. Me or this? The game's just a gem. And like, this as far as people that have helped is me a, is get a, this far, is like, I just want to thank all my friends just that just like part what? of the cast. All this Sumeru, like the, Kumeru, the new characters um, and also to all the fans the like they've been so fuck, lovely man. and welcoming and it's such a lovely community it's just, I just been this, a wonderful journey and i hope that it continues this interview uh, session is a fucking sausage fest what's up my name is patrick pedraza i'm the voice the of scarmoosh the balladeer where the are the ladies for your verse where well, are the ladies years, man that's a long time oh God, what the I have fuck? no idea what the future's gonna bring for the game, for me, but they better not tell me that this entire like, I don't interview is a cliche, fucking but sausage I'm really fest. super grateful to be part of this. What is your favorite story from the past year? Oh, my favorite... My favorite scene... Oh, gosh, there's so many. Uh, it's like the boss battle. The when I first saw the boss battle when I was doing the session, I was like, yeah, this is okay, gonna be I'll, insane. I'll be the, the boss battle, the boss battle was theme, kind of, oh was my kind of, gosh, that was just was like kind of interesting. insane. But then I was like, oh my gosh, I saw the but end and then still, My personal favorite is still without a shadow, head, without the Raiden right Shogun right um, at you. boss fight. Poof. Yeah. <laughs> There's no was opinion. Kind of sad, it was kind of, uh, yeah, that's my favorite one. Hi. I yes! I voice Raiden Shogun. Yes! And it. And Makoto. And a handful of NPCs. Yes! I believe that Genshin Impact has been going on strong for three years, and we've got plenty more to go. I'm so excited for what the future holds for Tevat. I am just starting to explore Fontaine and getting through the Fontaine Arc Conquest, and it is so, so much fun so far. Oh. And I just really want to thank the fans, all of the travelers who have been on this journey with us for the past three years. None of this would mean anything without you guys. So Aww. thank you for playing. Thank you for loving this game. What's one of your favorite character lines? Okay, I get asked this a lot. And the answer is the about Ito line. Ito? I just think it's so funny how in one word... You get to know exactly what Raiden Shogun thinks of the one and only Arataki Ito. Lol. That never fails to make me laugh. Hi, my name is Kimberly Nahida. Andrew, and I'm the voice of Nahida, Aww. Denko Archon, and Genshin Impact. Finally, we're what getting the ladies' memory interview. of the past year. Um, okay, so there are a lot, and no surprise, there are a lot to do with Nahida. But I would say that one of my favorite memories from last year would have to be when Nahida's trailer I'm dropped. I'm just glad I she got has two Nahida. trailers, but the one in particular that comes to mind I'm just is the one Nahida. where she's going through her birthday over she and over again. And it starts off as happy, and then through. it's like, oh, okay, it's still kind of happy, but then it gets really dark and like 
really depressing. And even though yeah. it's like a really oh, sad Oh, please don't remind video, me of the, the, the character. Like, nah, he does super well and done. And I was like, I oh my gosh, expect, it's so good. And like I seeing everybody's reactions to, be, to it. Like I've watched like a ton of reactions from hell? like streamers, YouTubers. It was like just amazing to see everybody's reaction to it. I could not wait for it to come out. I'm glad it turned out as well as it did. Well, there you have it, folks. Straight from the mouth. Two ladies and that's pretty much it. It's... <clears throat> And then there's someone you've forgotten. I too, someone's to be exact. Oh, 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 oh I, I was totally not to get to you guys. Yeah, I swear. Right. Um, That's what I thought. Can you give us a short intro? My name is Damon Mills, and I voice Linny, the greatest and, magician um, in all of the And Linny voice actress as a bonus, Is there anything so yeah. you want to say to the community about but your character? But majority of the interview is Linny basically and all the guys. Man, because I, I noticed. both. Incredibly um, fun Jeremy's voice actor. All about Razzle Dazzle. Sino's voice actor. The collective past is I'll so hate dark him. and painful. Uh, I mean, they're both masculine. Scarab, really well, um, particularly Scarab Lenny, who appears um, front facing and very confident, but he's burdened by but his ties then, um, to the Fatui, growing up as like, an orphan, the hell, kind of acting as a parent to he's his like, what? siblings. I feel like he was forced to grow up really of the, fast. 80% of the cast that is being in the movie is practically guys. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? I still remember when Genshin first came around, and I thought it was the neatest concept. I know this game has gotten so many people through so much stuff, and I'm really excited to finally be a part of it in such a big way. It's really special to me, and I can't wait to see where the rest of the game goes. My name is Anais Kinanis, and I am the voice of Lynette, and I actually adore cats, so this is a true honor. Is there anything you want to say to the community about your character? Yeah, uh, Lynette... Lynette is really fun for me because, you know, she is the the deadpan kind of, I guess, emotionless character archetype, but we did try to elevate her from that. Um, so it's really fun uh, trying to, you know, keep that feel, that base feel of her being deadpan, but also adding enough nuance so that she is an interesting character. Do you have an anniversary message you'd like to share? Yeah, three years, that's crazy. Um, I'm very excited. I'm excited to see future characters. I'm excited to see more of Fontaine um, and more Lynette, of course. Uh, and um, yeah, I wanna thank you guys for being so supportive and stuff. Um, it's uh, It's been a blast and I can't wait to see you guys Enjoy the rest of it. Last... There you have it, folks. For real this time. This is Ace Reporter Maya signing off. And that's the end of the message. Now, here, the day of the Qian Zhan Jiemu is also coming to an end. At this time, I would like to thank the students of the Qian Zhan Jiemu for their generosity. I would like to thank the students of the Qian Zhan Jiemu for their generosity. I would like to thank the students of the Qian Zhan Jiemu for their generosity. 从原生上线至今，正是有了你们的陪伴与热情，我们才能不断前行。回顾一路走过来的时光，旅行者们向我们提出了许多宝贵的反馈与建议，我们也因此能不断优化游戏体验，推出更多高质量的游戏内容，让大家能够在游戏中体验到更多的乐趣。在未来的日子里，我们将继续坚持这一理念，无论是新的角色、新的剧情，还是新的玩法。我们都将以更加饱满的热情，为大家带来更多惊喜与挑战。最后，再次感谢各位旅行者的支持与鼓励，让我们在四点一版本不见不散。Happy three years of Genshin Impact. And that's the end of version 4.1 special program. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely will be looking forward to the Archon quest for sure because that's the only thing that's, that is interesting so far. And I, unfortunately, for the rest of the uh, the rest of the content in the special program, uh, okay, let's the character the character banners is a skip. I'm so unfortunately, 
The new events is practically the same stuff, different version. But I kind of love. I'm genuinely curious. Since they mentioned that it is a follow up of the Lantern Ride Festival um, story back in, uh, in, the, back in, the, early, in the early um, 2023, I'm genuinely curious what. Um, what are the uh, or how the story is gonna unfold for the for that particular I forgot the name of the event I'm so sorry but still I'm kind of looking forward to that uh, to the event story quest and as for the um, system system optimization I'll be very frank I was kind of disappointed okay at the very least the the daily commission thing was kind of decent. But the rest of that was kind of underwhelming, to be very honest. I was really hoping that... I was really hoping for them to do something huge, like the, the, the three things that I mentioned right before the special program, but no. They didn't do... they didn't announce any of that stuff. And as for any... And yes, they did um, announce um, what, are the, what, are the, what are the things that they, they'll be doing during the anniversary. Um, which is basically... And we'll be getting at least free 10 draws because I saw they uh, we'll be getting at least some 1,600 Primo Gems and that's practically 10 uh, free draws at least which is kind of disappointing to be very honest because that's practically the same stuff that has been they have been doing every single anniversary I was expecting more but yeah they're, they're practically doing the same the same thing every year and yeah and along with uh yes they provided fragile resistance as well but to me that's that's not enough if they if they keep doing this kind of stuff for every single anniversary i'll be very frank they're gonna lose players man I'll, they will lose players they might jump ship into other games if they keep doing this kind of if they don't step up the game every anniversary they will lose players. They will lose players, I will say this. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that I need to check. Uh, check out. Oh, right, 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 right. There's one more thing I need to check out. The Japanese version of um, uh, version uh, 4.1 trailer. Let's see if I can find that stuff. Uh, so yeah, this uh, this trailer was released um, 11 minutes right after the special program. So now let's check out the, the Japanese version of the trailer. And wait, wait, just be safe, right? Yeah, it's in English. It, uh, there's English subtitles, so let's check it out. Lol, I'm on with that. <laughs> right. Welcome to jail. その本質は追放された罪人たちが集う場所であると定義するべきだ。君たちに偽の罪状を用意するので、密かに調査してきてほしい。ここには隠し絶対。絶対夜中に変な音を出すパイプの近くに行くなよ。人は遅かれ早かる。おごりの代償を払う。オノディさん。オラオラ。で、で、で、で、オラオラ。<笑><笑> I mean, cause Ono D is um, is also the the is the guy who voices um Kujo Jotaro in Jojo Party after all. So I won't be surprised if he, he, he does the aura aura thing over here as well. The irony. Yogan
Your teammate Also a Catalyst Missile メハメハ。私は感情を表現するのが得意ではない。それは自分自身でさえ完全に理解していないからだ。いつかメルジーヌなんて信用できないわ。メルジーヌなんて信用できない。ヌビレットもだよ。今俺は頭の中にあることをただ一つ。血は血で贖ってもらう。リオセスリ。リゲットプレミネを男にやった。たとえ目を背けたくなるような真実であってもか。被害者も残された血と肉は処理ができない。奴らによってあらゆる形に
Zhongli because of his um sh the, the he's one of the best um shield provider in game. As for Raiden Shogun, who happens to be my favorite Genshin Impact character, she is very versatile where you want her as main DPS or you want her as sub DPS or you want her as a support no freaking problem and as for Nahida as I mentioned earlier she is probably one of the best dendro applicator to date as, and as for Venti right Ven who happens to be the animal Archon right I won't say he's I won't say he's bad, he's alright, but if you if um if if you ask me who is the best animo applicator to date, I would definitely say Kazuha. Kazuha is to this day is definitely one of the is definitely the best um, animo applicator to date. Venti personally come close um second I guess which is why which is why I didn't really bother getting my hands on Venti since I already have Kazuha I mean I wouldn't mind pulling for Venti but unfortunately he is not on my priority list and so if Genshin wants players including myself to pull for Furina there better be a very good reason why Furina is a must pull and that's odd because she um, the f because of the fact that she's just the hydro archon is not gonna cut it for me no that's not uh, how I'm gonna hit it because I will say this I'm seeing lots of fan art on Furina on Twitter but I might be one of the minority that um, I'm not really interested in Furina to be very honest she's just not for me therefore Genshin better have a very good reason as to why Furina is a must. Ooh.